In this video, we're going to look at changing the base of a logarithm. When you're working with logs, the most common bases you'll use are base 10 and base e, or the natural log. Sometimes, though, we might want to change the base. An example might be base 2, which is used in engineering. In this video, we're going to look at the change of base formula and how to derive it. So let's start off with the change of base formula. Log to the base a of b can be given as log to the base c of b divided by log to the base c of a. So this gives me my change of base formula. So we can see that the base has changed from a to c. We still have this quantity b in the numerator and then in the denominator we have the old base a. So let's look at deriving this. And what I'm going to do is write out the original statement we met. If we have log to the base a of b equal to c, the exponential equivalent is a to the power of c is equal to b. And we've been using this throughout our work with logs. What I'm going to do is pick it up at this point right here. So I'm going to write a to the power of c is equal to b. At this stage, I'm going to take logs of both sides of the equation and we're going to use base c. So if I do that, I'm going to have log to the base c of a to the power of c is equal to log to the base c of b. I'm going to use the power law and bring the c down. So we have c multiplied by log to the base c of a is equal to log to the base c of b. At this stage, I'm going to divide through by log to the base c of a. That's going to give me c is equal to log to the base c of b divided by log to the base c of a. We know that c is equal to log to the base a of b. Therefore, we can write now log to the base a of b is equal to log to the base c of b divided by log to the base c of a. And that gives us our change of base formula. So what we have here now is something that we can use and quote. Sometimes you might be asked to show it, but in general, we can quote it. Now, there is a special case of the change of base formula, and I'm going to write it just here. Log to the base a of b will be equal to 1 over log to the base b of a. So let's consider what we've got. All we have now is log to the base a of b is equal to 1 over log to the base b of a. So let's look at deriving that. If we go back to this point right here, we've got a to the c is equal to b. So what I'm going to do is quickly show this separate to what we've just looked at. So we know that a to the c is equal to b. This time I'm going to take logs of both sides of the equation, but using base b logarithms. So we have log to the base b of a to the power of c is equal to log to the base b of b. We know that log to the base b of b is 1, so we can write now using the power law, c multiplied by log to the base b of a is equal to 1. We can write c dividing both sides by log to the base b of a, c is equal to 1 over log to the base b of a. We know that c is given to be now log to the base a of b, so we can simply go ahead and write log to the base a of b is equal to 1 over log to the base b of a. We're going to be using these quite frequently when we're looking at equations involving logarithms. Let's just look at a numeric example. So let's say we wanted now, let's say we had log to the base 3 of 7. We could write this now as log to the base 10 of 7 divided by log to the base 10 of 3. Now sometimes, uh, well, pre my Casio calculator, often calculators only worked in base e and base 10. Now we have this particular function here. We can evaluate different bases, but before it was often a case of switching this up into base e or base 10. So that's an example, and we could find a numeric, um, a, a numeric answer for this by evaluating it. So that's the change of base formula. One important change of base that you might see later on in your studies 
is log to the base a of x is equal to the natural log of x over the natural log of a. So when I'm talking about the natural log, this is base e. And we study base e in a later unit. But for now, these are two results that we need to be able to use and quote, or quote and use. Log to the base a of b is equal to log to the base c of b divided by log to the base c of a. And log to the base a of b is equal to 1 over log to the base b of a.